Hey, it's Don Thornton, the short sale guy, and I just want to do another quick video here about what's happening in the short sale world and with my business to hopefully give you some value. So today I want to talk about um, why I hate Mr. Cooper. Now, Mr. Cooper used to be Nation Star, and they changed their name for some kind of weird rebrand rebranding exercise, which I have no idea. I think Mr. Cooper is a stupid name, uh, but whatever. I mean, I'm not, I'm not on their board of directors and they don't make those kind of decisions, but my hatred towards them uh, is completely different. Uh, not, not, I have nothing to do with their branding. Um, I would say right now that of all the mortgage companies that we deal with, and we deal with a lot in our short sales, Mr. Cooper is right smack no questions the top at the top of the list on, on my shit list. And why is that? Because um, they really are trying to move away from short sales completely. And I think it's really stupid. And I think it, in the long run, it's not helping them, but um, we have to deal with it. And it's really caused our short sales with Mr. Cooper to be delayed um, big time. Okay. Well, what's going on here? Well, I'll show you. Let me share my screen. Okay. Um, they have now instituted a new program to where they are using a company called, is that home? Is it Zome? I don't even know what it's, what it's, uh, uh, how to pronounce it, but it's basically an online auction. So what, what we start to short sale, we get into it, we put a contract in to try to buy the house. And then invariably they come back and say, uh, you're going to have to cancel the short sale and we're going to, you know, because we want, we put this on our online auction. And if you see right here, it says um, auction, auctions here. Uh, what you do, what they do is they put it on this auction and or they force, they force um, the more, they, they, they force the homeowner to agree to this. And so they say, look, if you, if you want a short sale, that's what you got to do. Um, so, you know, you can't, um, you can't do anything if they, if, you know, if they say, well, short sale or no, that's it. So, um, and so it's like, okay, well, what are we going to do here? It's like, well, I'm not, I can't, I can't lift this up. It's not letting me, but anyway, uh, so what, what happens? They, uh, they do an auction and in, what's, what's hilarious about this is that invariably, the price is coming lower than what we would be getting on a short sale, regular short sale transaction, but they force the homeowner to take it. So what happens? It, it's so funny is we have, we have a condo up in, up in Daytona and South Daytona. And uh, we had a contract that was for $15,000 more than what the zone or the home, uh, short sale auction came in at, but they still forced the homeowner to take the contract. So we had to cancel the, the existing contract, sign it with this, this uh, new person. And then what happens? The new person does his sight unseen. Okay. So he goes there and decides he doesn't want it. So now it's back. Now they come back and say, all right, well, you can go ahead and continue marketing it. So you market the property, you find another contract, and they come back and say, no, we did, we just did another, we hit, we, we did another short sale auction and another person, another person uh, won the, won the auction. So now you have to cancel that contract and then you have to uh, sign a contract with this one. And so what happened? The person walked 90% of the time they walk because they're doing this on, they're doing this online sight unseen. They invariably get down there and they say, you know what? I don't want the property. I don't want the property anymore. So anyway, I'll stop my share, but it's just really annoying to have to go through all this stuff. And so basically they make you jump through those hoops three times before they will allow you to continue with a short sale. So by far, Mr. Cooper is the worst uh, of all the banks that we deal with because they're just, they're just, uh, it's unreasonable what they're trying to do here. And you know that some nerd, some marketing nerd uh, came to them with this idea that this was going to be much more efficient, much quicker. And it's just like, you know, I'm a big baseball fan. I'm a big St. Louis Cardinal fan. And, and I don't like what's been happening with baseball. I don't like what's happening in sports in general. Well, it's basketball as well. I mean, all these analytics have taken over and they think that they're, they're oh, this is the best way to win and so forth. But in baseball anyway, all you have are home runs and strikeouts and walks because nobody steals bases anymore. 
there's no action. The ball's not being put in play. Even on like a, on an O2 count, the hitters are still jack trying to jack the ball out of the park when you know they should be uh, choking up on the bat and trying to get on base. You know, it's just it's 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 un, almost unwatchable now. And as, as, a, as a very big baseball fan, I don't like it. Right? And and basketball. I mean, whatever happened to the post? Whatever happened to getting to the into the paint and trying to get easy baskets? Now everybody just jacks up threes. You got fast break you know, fast break opportunities in basketball and everybody's running to the three point line and no one's, no one's going to the basket, to get the easy, get the easy bucket. And it's the same principle with, with the online auction. It sounds, sounds probably logical. Like, Oh yeah, we can, we can market this ourselves. We don't have to go through all the rigmarole of a short sale, you know, blah, blah, blah. But again, what you the, 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 the prices are coming in lower than what they were going to, they would get in a regular short sale. Their, their leakage rate is from what we're seeing. Okay. We have not had one home or zone, whatever they want to call it. We have not had one contract f- get fulfilled that, that came from the short sale auction. They, they invert, like I said, I keep using the word invariably, but they always walk. So what was an, what was maybe a good idea in some tech nerds uh, head in reality, it's it just makes things more complicated, and the bank it's making the process go longer. So, uh, if you have a Mr. Cooper um, short sale, and you bring to us, understand going into it that it's going to be a lot more hoops to jump through with this stupid online au- short sale auction uh, thing they got going here. So, uh, that's my two cents about uh, about this about Mr. Cooper. Why do I hate them? And uh, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll keep doing them. But we just have to disclose to the homeowners about what's going on here, so they understand. You know, it's like you know, if I'm trying to buy a house, and you know, I'm telling them chances are, um, you know, my contract is going to be is going to be uh, um, uh, canceled by the bank uh, in favor of of this online auction crap, and that we have to go through this three times before you know a, a regular short sale contract can be submitted and will be evaluated and go through the entire process because this is you know we're stuck until until that happens so anyway and what what's what bugs me about that in the conclusion what bugs me about it is that they don't tell you that from ahead of time they tell you to go ahead and market it and and submit a contract and only when you submit the contract and you've got it on under contract and then then they come back and say no we want to do the online action so all you do is just make everybody mad at you. You make the make the uh, buyer's agent mad, the buyer mad, and it's like they who do they get mad? They get mad at us. It's like it's not our fault. It's a stupid bank. So that's me venting for today about stupid Mr. Cooper. So um, I will see you next time uh, on Don the Short Sale Guy channel.